Okay. That was was it a magic upgrade? My god, I already forgot I was in that cave. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> that hamster. Such a dirty mouth. Oh, okay, I despawned the batter, or it was just in a different position last time. Okay. Because the cave's entirely different when the bats are where the jumps are. See, no problem. No problem. Fresh Beats from BGT. Gotta figure out where to go. I guess I'm gonna go... I'm gonna talk to these people again. Swamp Town of Akron? Ankin. With a bomb. Yeah, I want the bomb. Not there yet. Beach T's waiting on album cover art. And this cave doesn't go out. Oh, no, no, okay. There we go. I feel like there was one other spot that I was supposed to have jumped to get something, and I haven't gone back to it. It was a forest, wasn't it? Oh, I did do that, right? I did do that. Yeah, that was the parkour forest. Okay. Whew. Grass tile. Ooh. Looks different. Looks like King's Tomb. Loving memory of Gabor. I don't know who Gabor is. But that's nice. That was also nice that I got to cross a bridge without getting into an encounter. Sometimes it gets a little tiring to always have bridges be an encounter. This is cool. I wanted to have um, a harbor town, and part of my a harbor town where it was like, uh, what do you call them? Um, Uh, anyway, the awnings with poles, you know, just they're stalls with awnings and poles. What the hell's the word? Yeah.
What is the word? <laughs> oh, Gabor's grave is the entrance to Soli? Well, I don't know what Soli is, but now I want to. That's, see, that's what I'm talking about. Seasoning. They say Gabor's grave is the entrance to Soli. I don't know what either of those things are. I know Gabor's grave is now. And now I want to know what Soli is. Did he go on about the alcoves? Yeah, there's animated overworld tiles. This is accomplished because the um, vanilla games uh, graphics banks aren't all used. There's empty space, so you can just animate the overworld by using some of that and shifting between the banks. Common, that's the common trick for animating the overworld. This looks familiar. Haven't I been to some place like this? Obviously it wasn't this spot. There was another spot. I think it was in a town. Like at the end of a town there was a... I could keep going. It might have even been the first town. Oh! It was the first town, wasn't it? And now I have kept going with my boots to get the heart. Not through the side scroll. Uh, I have seen in Bruges, but it's been a long time, and I don't remember the little stuff about it. It's, I don't, I think I've seen the, the back end of the movie, like, a bunch of times, and the front end of the movie, like, once. And, and that sounds like the beginning, I guess, I don't know. I don't know why that's how I have seen that movie. Like, back when we had cable. It would I would just be flipping through and be like, oh, this is cool. Sorry. Yeah. I, um... Respawning? Right. Uh, they're using the a certain tile flag a bit. Uh, encounter flag that like um. I guess it's how most of the caves in the vanilla game work, is by setting a certain uh, encounter flag so that it takes you to a different um, overworld index when you exit the other side. Because didn't we, like, kind of cross the entire graveyard to get the life spell in side scrolls without walking over the graveyard itself in the overworld? Just like we're doing with this forest where we skipped the forest. Is this the forest that's a secret to everybody? Or did... Or was that somewhere else? Shit. Ah, uh, yeah, Christmas Story. Yeah, a Christmas Story is a bunch of... Uh, uh, it's basically sketch comedy, right? Not really, it's not literally sketch comedy, but... It's a pretty loose plot filled with little little side incidents like you're not going to get the the whole thing about the leg lamp if you don't get it in order but
but many of the parts are, are non sequiturs. Uh oh. We're going to get downstabbed soon? Oh, the hammer is a bomb now. I get it. Then the lava devil blocked the entrance to Lado Forest. Okay, the flute's the flute. Right, in Lado Forest lives a hermit. Ooh. That's the bell. I, I'm... The reason I don't have a ROM hack and OK Impala does is because I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. If I wanted to make a bell, um, it would have to be like all smooth and stuff, which is just not going to happen. But okay, and Paul's like, you know what? I'm I'm down with like building stuff out of the game's tiles to try to make it look like stuff. And that's why they're they've got to finish their own hack, and I'm just I've just got a bunch of notes. <laughs> oh, I've gotta get the the flute. The 8x Lord of World. <laughs> yeah, Zelda 2 graphically, it works fine until you start to have bigger ideas than the game allows for. Like, and then you're like, oh my god, why are the graphics in this game so limited? All 
How are those Nintendo people such geniuses? How do they make games look good? With only this much space and these bank limitations. Ah! thought process are you talking about, Zarnax, with regard to... And with regard to what? With regard to the bell? Maybe not. I don't know. Jump! This looks cool. I like the jagged... I don't even know for sure what... what to call it. I just grabbed the key. Okay, no other keys, though. Bye! <laughs> Interesting dungeon. There's nothing to complain about there because if you died on that screen, there's nothing. There's no reason for you to stay on it other than the curiosity if you didn't make it across to see what it was. Yeah. Oh, hi. Boss fights early in dungeons. Oh, I don't have downstab. I bet the Hermit has downstab. I've got stinky butt moves. Ugh. I'm gonna take this key and turn around. I, that might be what's intended. <laughs> So, if downstab isn't necessary to beat the game, then you could just place that crystal and leave. Assuming that I'm right about the flute being in here and getting you downstab, but I'm not really sure. How much more is there to this dungeon, though? Maybe the Hermit has fairy. I'm going back in a second. What? 
We needed Fairy to get across to, to this pit. And then I went down and left. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else to go in there. Lava is the new road tile. I prefer to, for Barba, if I'm not going to have downstab, for it to be more of a challenge to deal damage and not have jump spell either. Hermit! Hermit! Bagu? Uh... Hey, buddy. To reach the kingdom of Soli. Enigma? Oh, wow. Didn't see that coming. The game, see, it wasn't downstab or fairy spell. I wasn't thinking spell spell at all. Enigma. <laughs> Frickin' e -pore. That's nothing like rope. If you say e backward, it's like pori. Or rope. E-pore... It's, uh, rope, ropey. <laughs> I'm better at reading backward than right than speaking backward, I guess. Um, the first time I played Shadowgate, it was... My uncle had it. And I was like, uh... 12? Maybe, I, I guess 12 years old? I don't know. He wasn't my uncle just yet, but he was, you know, him and my aunt were dating. And, uh, he... He was, sh you know, showing me games I'd never seen before, because he knew how much I, I liked Nintendo games. And so we played Shadowgate. Uh, and I gotta assume that when we got to... that rope epor part, and I'm like, I just didn't understand what was going on with, with it. I didn't- I wasn't interested in the sign. You gotta read the sign, like, three times for it to teach you the spell to begin with, but even then you've got a spell called epor. And for an adult, even somebody who's like, you know, 20... You know, 225, however old he was. Um, that's like super obvious. Like, yeah, it's a, it's the word backward. Just like uh, sit there and and wait for a kid to figure out like this thing they've never done before. Like they've never dealt with. It's the word backward. Once you've done it's the word backward once, you know it for the rest of your life.
Yeah, um... And Shadowgate relies, I think, on your knowledge of, of like, Dungeons and Dragons level stuff. I think. Like, uh... I, I, I don't know. I was a, a novice, to say the least, about many of the tropes that are used in, in Shadowgate. So, like, turning the snake into a stick was like... What? You know? But, like, uh, in Dungeons & Dragons, isn't there a spell, like, sticks to snakes, where you, like, you throw... S you throw sticks and, and they turn into snakes that attack your enemy? Fire one missile, and then it, and you're like, that did nothing. Yeah. I know. The human brain is, uh... <laughs> I got an email earlier this week uh, that, that from my insurance, my homeowner's insurance, saying that I owed a certain amount of money that I took to be a quarterly... a quarterly, uh bill, and I'm like, I paid for the whole year, they're, they're, I couldn't possibly owe anything, and, and so I called them up, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm getting billed, I'm pretty sure I paid my whole bill already, so, like, can you help me figure out what's going on, and then, they're, they told me, they're like, oh, you know, you, you had some policy changes, you know, like, what I thought was the same day that I had had the policy written to begin with that actually was a few days afterward. So I actually had my policy written, I paid my entire year, and then like a few days later the agent called me back up and said, well I think you should get, you know, this coverage instead and it was just a little bit more. And I was like, sure, uh, okay, you know, I'm not paying that much so whatever. And so I never actually paid that extra amount that for the, the coverage that was added on. But I call her up and I'm like, I don't think I owe it. And then it, it was simple. It was as simple as logging into my account with the insurance company and and like looking at what was being told to me there and then checking my bank account statements to see how much I paid. And I was like, no, I do owe it. Like I, I sent her on this mission to figure it out. And then I was like, two minutes later, I realized the mistake that I'd made, and I'm like, how do they even, you know, get on this path to begin with? That's the human brain. Sometimes. They're like, you just, you, you make one assumption, and then everything, and then you just go all the wrong ways. Whoops. Our Star of Hope was stolen by the Blue Knights. Could I have gotten here without using them? I suppose I could have. Whoa! That's a huge door. Cool. Cool, we're in a big town thing. We need the Star of Hope to teach you fairy magic. Well, that's straightforward, isn't it? I'm going to get fairy magic. Oh. 
I'll be back in a minute. Downward stab! It's good town. Back a minute. That's pretty cool. I mean, in reality, it's just that the text box is at the stool. Like, that's where the text box hitbox is, you know? But that's what you have to do with a Nintendo game. You just have to make it seem like something different's happening, which is, I guess, every game really works that way. But another thing that's cool here, if you stay here too long, you may never be able to return to your own world, which I don't think in any actual gameplay mechanic that's probably true, but it does get the drive the player. Oh, that's the exit. Find Garden Temple in the East. Blue Knights are our enemy. Their lair is up north. I think I want to save some of this for later. We kind of uh, we've hit like a new hub in a way. I probably should have stopped before. Maybe I don't know, but yeah, we've got Garden Temple in the east, the Blue Knights lair to the north. Um. The Blue Knights are going to have the item that gets me the Fairy spell. We're still missing whatever's in the Fire slot, if it's Fire. Still missing the Thunder spell. Um, the Bomb. 
and the magical key if it exists. That's the thing that I think a lot of games are like, eh, the magical key. Including, um, Hellwalker, the Zelda one hack I played a few weeks ago. I don't think there's a magical key in that game. But before long I'll have to go anyway, so might as well just go now. Thanks for hanging. Let me ramble 